Hello and welcome to Linux Hint YouTube channel. Today in this video we are going to talk about arrays in C programming language. We are going to discuss what are arrays, how do you initialize arrays, how do you input values into the arrays and how do you extract values from the arrays. So let's just jump into the video. Arrays. Well, arrays are named memory locations which are used to store multiple values of the same data type. To explain this, Imagine that you want to store the marks of subjects of a particular student. Now the student is studying about 5 subjects and then you have around 100 students. So if we calculate the total number of variables that we would need to store the marks of every subject of every student, that would result in a number of around 500. So we don't want to manually write 500 variables inside our program. So therefore we can simply use arrays. We can create an array for each student with a length of 5 elements. And for the class, we can create an array of 100 elements which will contain records of each student. Now this was a pretty basic introduction of arrays and why we should use arrays and how can it save us some important time when coding. So now we are going to talk about arrays with the help of code. So how do you actually initialize arrays? Well, you actually initialize arrays by using the square brackets. For example, the first thing that we have to do is we have to define the data type of the array. Suppose that I want an array to store integer values, so I'm going to define the data type as int. And then I'm going to name the variable, the name of the array. For this, I'm going to use the variable name marks. And after this, I will use the square brackets. These square brackets would tell the compiler, okay, that this variable is not a single variable. Rather, it's an array. There are two ways of initializing this array. We can either set the size of this array by putting in the number of elements that this array is going to take within these square brackets. And then we can initialize the elements of this array later on. Or we can simply leave this bracket empty and use an assignment operator and then simply assign the elements however we want to. This would also tell the compiler that this is an array containing 5 elements. Now to access these elements, we actually use something called indexes. Now if you look at this diagram, we have an array or 5 data spaces in the memory allocated under the identifier marks. The first element is referenced by the first index of the variable marks. Similarly, the second is referenced by the index 2, the third by index 3. But there is a slight difference. While programming in C, the first index is not 1, rather it is 0. And the last index is not n, it is actually n minus 1. So as you can see on the screen, if you fill out the elements with 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5, to access the third element, we would use the index 2. Now if we try to get the value placed at the index 3 of the array, we should get the value of 4, not 3. Because again, the indexes start from 0, 1, 2 and so on. So if we execute this program, we should get the value 4 on our screen. And there you go. So that is how you access the variables or uh, my bad, the elements within the array. But how do you populate an entire list of array? How do you iterate through an array? I mean you don't want to write a line for each index value because it would be the same as writing a separate variable for each element. So to traverse through an array, we use loops or in particular, the most commonly used loop is the for loop for traversing through arrays for both input and output. So let's create an empty array of the length 10 or let's say 5. And this time we are going to take the values from the user and place them inside our array. So let's first prompt the user that he has to input 5 values enter 5 integer values and to take 5 consecutive inputs from the user we are going to use the for loop and in the for loop we are going to use the initialization statement as integer i is equal to 0 and we are going to iterate this variable up to 5 and I am going to increase this variable by 1 for each iteration. Now this should work as our index variable starting from 0 to 5 minus 1 because the condition is less than 5. So now I'm going to scan for a new integer and I'm going to place that integer 
at the ith index. This is a way of populating arrays in C programming language. Now that we have populated our array, we need to show it back to the user as well. To show it back to the user, we can again use the for loop with almost the same syntax. So I'm going to copy this and place it. And rather than scanning, I'm going to use a printf function. And I'm simply going to print percentage %d with an escape sequence for a new line. And I'm going to print marks at the ith index. Save this program and try executing it. Here it is asking for 5 integer values. So I'm going to give some random integer values. And there you go. So I started out with 6, 3, 4, 88 and 110. These were my inputs. Let me increase the size of this terminal. After our inputs, our program traversed through the array and printed out the values at index i, which was 0, 1, 2, 3 and 4 respectively. So that is how you can use arrays in C programming language and how you can populate arrays using for loop and how you can traverse through arrays using the for loop as well. That is it for this very short video. But remember, arrays is one of the most fundamental concepts of any programming language. So make sure to practice arrays to become a better programmer.